Well, I'm about to reveal the best and worst for weight loss. Starting a diet? Best day to do it is Saturday. You've got time to start a routine. Worst day? Monday. You've already got enough on your plate just starting your week. Grocery shopping on that diet? Best aisle? Produce. Worst? Checkout. Beware of impulse candy purchases. Best place to eat? The dining room. Worst, your kitchen. You'll keep going back for more food. Knowing what's best and worst for weight loss is your secret to shedding the pounds. So today I'm revealing my ultimate checklist. The best and worst things you can do to lose weight. From diet pills and metabolism boosters to your favorite foods and exercise. And the best thing about it, you'll be shocked by what you learn. The best pill is one that I had never heard of before the show, and it, I think it's gonna blow you away. It's something you probably haven't heard of called glucomonin. Have you ever heard of that, Jackie? I never have. Glucomonin is a natural thickening agent. You know, it's used, it's made from a root. It's used in many parts of the world. You can get in little caplets in a vitamin store for about $10. It's used in Asia to thicken the noodles up, and because it's got a lot of fiber in it, uh, it seems to have a benefit or fiber-like effect. Now, one thing is wow. if you take the caplet, take yes. it with a lot of water because okay. it will suck up that water and get pretty big in your stomach. Okay, glucomonin. glucomonin. Fair enough? Yes. Thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you. Losing weight by eating sounds just too good to be true, but right now we are finding out about superfoods from around the world that could actually help you burn fat and slim down. So here with the full menu is Dr. Lindsay Duncan. Hi, Hi. Dr. Duncan. Thank you. All right, so now everybody is going to all of these supplements and diet mm -hmm. pills, but you say we should look at superfoods to slim down and lose weight. Sure. First, what we're doing is not working, obviously. There's more yeah. overweight Americans than ever before. Right. Superfoods work. So I travel around the world looking for plants that first do no harm and second have, are clinically proven to help people lose weight. I'd be willing to say that if you took the, if everybody in the audience took the four superfoods that I brought today, it would be extremely difficult for all of them to not lose weight. All right. Well, you are taking us around the world. I think India is our first <laughs> Stop. Is that yeah. where we're going, India? India is, and it's a cactus. Without exercise and diet. It depends on which one we're talking about. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. What is this Medusa looking thing right here? This, this is a cactus, and it's called Caroluma fimbriata. I Say think it. I had a girlfriend named that. <laughs> Caroluma. Okay, so what this is, is this is a famine food. It was used during times of famine to let people feel like they weren't hungry, like they were full. Uh -huh. So do you and, eat the plant? Or yes, but here's, what, here's the two things that it does. Okay. It, it actually sync signals to the brain that I'm full, to the hypothalamus. The second thing it does is okay. it stops fat cells from forming. The two together makes a powerful one-two punch for weight loss. All right. The key to this, though, is you want to get a 10 to 1 extract. Now, do you want to try this? I'm gonna try it. Okay. Am I gonna lose 10 pounds? I promise you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute.